What do you think, Sancho Panza? <laughs> uh, it's been nice knowing the little dog. Yes, it has been nice knowing Sancho Panza, but it, he has been, uh, he has said he's had enough of the world. Alright. Hi right, guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful second day of winter 2018 here at sunset on Saturday, December 22nd, 2018, where it's been about 75 degrees today and the little dog and Groot and I have been taking down this tree and uh, so I'm just now getting to today's We Are So Fucked Doomer headline of the day. And I'm sorry I cannot remember the alert tribes member who sent me this article from the good old Guardian. Uh, wow, for the We Are So Fucked more quickly than previously thought headline of the day. Take it away, Guardian. Risks of domino effect of tipping points greater than thought, study says. Scientists warn policymakers not to ignore links and stress that every action counts. Yes, these, this word policymaker, could we please get rid of that bullshit term? Uh, all right, and the first word of the story with no definition, policy makers. Po people who make policy, I guess is what a policy maker is, have severely underestimated the risks of ecological tipping points. According to a new study that shows 45% of all potential environmental collapses are interrelated and could amplify one another. Where is my no shit Sherlock button? The authors said their paper published in the journal Science highlights how overstressed and overlapping natural systems are combining to throw up a growing number of unwelcome surprises. Ah, this is Juan Roca of the Stockholm Resilience Center. Quote, the risks are greater than assumed because the interactions are more dynamic. The important message is to recognize the wickedness of the problem that humanity faces. The study collated existing research on the ecosystem transitions that can irreversibly tip to another state such as coral reefs bleaching and then being overrun by algae, forests becoming savannas, and ice sheets melting into oceans. It then cross-referenced the 30 types of shift, I would say the 30 types of shit, to examine the impacts they might have on, another, on one another and human society. Only 19% were entirely isolated. Another 36% shared one common cause but were not likely to interact. The, re the remaining 45% had the potential to create either a one-way domino effect or mutually reinforcing feedbacks. Among the latter pairings were Arctic ice sheets and boreal forest. When the ice sheets melt, there is less ice to reflect the sun's heat, so the temperature of the planet rises. This in turn increases the risks of forest fires, which discharge carbon into the air that adds to the greenhouse effect, which melts more ice, and on and on. Although geographically distant, each, meaning the Arctic ice and the boreal forest, each amplifies the other. By contrast, a one-way domino type impact is that between coral reefs and mangrove forest. 
When coral reefs are destroyed, it weakens coastal defenses and exposes mangroves to storms and ocean surges. The deforestation of the Amazon rainforest is responsible for multiple what the study calls cascading effects, weakening rain systems, forests becoming savanna, and reduced water supplies for cities like Sao Paulo and crops in the foothills of the Andes, this in turn increases the pressure for more land clearance. Until recently, the study of tipping points was controversial, but it is increasingly accepted as an explanation for climate changes that are happening with more speed and more ferocity than earlier computer models predicted. No shit. Sherlock, the loss of coral reefs and Arctic sea ice may already be past the point of no return. May. Yeah, pull your head out of your ass. There are signs now that the Antarctic is heading the same way faster than we thought. Huh. Imagine that. Co-author Gary Peterson said the tipping of the West Antarctic ice shelf was not on the radar of many scientists just 10 years ago, but now there is overwhelming evidence of the risks, including losses of chunks of ice the size of New York. And some studies now suggest the tipping point may have already been passed by the southern ice sheet, which may now be releasing carbon into the atmosphere. Ha! Huh. Quoting Dr. Peterson, quote, We were surprised at the rate of change in the Earth system. So much is happening now at the same time and at a faster speed than we would have thought possible 20 years ago. That's a real concern. Hmm. We are heading ever faster toward the edge of a cliff. Hmm. All right. The fourth most downloaded academic research paper of 2018 was the Hot House Earth paper, which considered how tipping points could combine to push our global climate into an uninhabitable state. The authors of the new research say their work goes beyond climate studies by mapping a wider range of ecological stress points, which is exactly what I was just talking about over on Collapse Chronicles. I was reading another article that came out yesterday about this very thing. Their work goes beyond climate studies by mapping a wider range of ecological stress points such as biodiversity loss, agricultural expansion, urbanization, and soil erosion. It fo also focuses more on what is happening at the local level now rather than projecting geoplanetary trends into the future. Said Peterson, quote, we're looking at things that affect people in their daily lives. They are things that are happening today. And now we get to uh, now we get to the Hollywood ending. After all of this, the Guardian just cannot just cannot uh, leave you with a bad taste on your in your mouth three days before Christmas. Quote: There is a positive message. Hmm, sounds like a real. Does this sound like a positive message to you so far, Greg? No. no I mean, no, uh, no. I know, uh, you know, <laughs> hey man, I really, I've, I've, ever since I started, I've heard nothing but a positive message. What's a bad message? Uh, I, I don't know if this is a positive message. What is a we are so fucked message? <laughs> anyway, there is a positive message as it expands the range of options for action. Yeah, going to fucking Mars, digging a hole in the ground. Oh. Uh, and it is not just at an international level. Mayors, mayors can also make a difference by addressing soil erosion. Oh yeah, 
are putting in place social policies that place less stress on the environment or building up natural coastal defenses. Was well, Didn't I just have a, a video of the mayor of Austin uh, cheering on the $1 billion new Apple campus moving into Austin? Uh, Roca, who I guess is the author of the study, has spent 10 years building a data pay, database of tipping points, or as he calls them, regime shifts. He urges policymakers to adopt a similar interdisciplinary approach so they can better grasp what is happening. Oh yes, said Roca, quote, we are trying to connect the dots between the different research communities. Governments also need to look more at these interactions. They should stop compartmentalizing ministries like agriculture, fisheries, and international relations and try to manage environmental problems by embracing the diversity of causes and mechanisms underlying them policies need to match the scale of the problem. It is a little depressing knowing we are not on a trajectory to keep our ecosystem in a functional state, but these connections are also a reason for hope. 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 <laughs> Good management in one place can prevent severe environmental degradation elsewhere. Every action counts. Close quote. Here is one action uh, I strongly suggest policy makers. Uh, this is the action I, uh, I recommend for the global policymakers to give me hope. Anyway, it is time for a margarita, but I got to uh, have a hot shower before a cold margarita. Smoke them if you got them, guys, and you know why. Bye, guys.